I feel like you're judging me. I know it's not the most appealing background. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're discussing all things brushes. How do you know which brush to use for which dog? Let me tell you. I get asked all the time, what's the best brush to use for my dog? And there's so many different brushes that you can use for all different kinds of breeds. So we're gonna discuss which brushes you should look to use for your pet. I'm gonna say, let's go ahead and start out with our short haired breeds. This is Chihuahuas, Pugs, Labradors, all those dogs that have the shorter coat, but they still have an undercoat. So they're still gonna shed a lot. What do you use to get all that coat out? Now, the first thing I like to use for the short coated dogs and the first thing I always recommend is the handy dandy rubber brush. The rubber brush is what's really gonna work that top coat and get all the loose hair out of there. And um, I also went on Amazon and I found these really cool like rubber brush gloves. It just makes it a little easier. You just slip them on and you can almost give them like a really nice like massage while you're doing it. It's fun. It's, I like them. They're cool. <laughs> but yeah, so for the short haired breeds, rubber brushes, these cool rubber brush gloves, again, you can find them on Amazon. Um, I'll link them down below if that helps. This is what's gonna work really well to get as much coat out as you can for them. Also, another great tool that you can use to get that undercoat is what's called a Furminator. These can get pretty pricey and they can, I don't wanna say dangerous, but they can be kind of harmful to your pet's skin and coat. It's a really great tool. It helps get a lot of extra coat out, but it is essentially kind of like a blade so it can kind of cut them so th again this is a great tool it's just not something you want to completely rely on or use too much because you can give them brush burn you can you know it can really irritate their skin uh, Terminators are a great tool they come in different sizes they can be kind of pricey so if you don't want to invest in it that's fine it's a great tool it's just not something you want to rely on so this is typically something i'll use if i'm trying to get a lot of undercoat out like our shedless treatments um but I'll only use it after I've gone in with a rubber brush and done that for a few minutes. And I only use this on each area of the body part a little bit at a time. It's just not something you wanna overuse. Great tool, just don't overuse it. And you can never go wrong with just a basic comb. A comb, metal comb, all these pretty teeth here. Um, you can never go wrong with these. Any type of coat these work great on. Even like the short hairs, like pugs, labs, beagles, you know, I like to run this even through their tail because a lot of the times we don't brush their tails. So this will help get some coat out too. Good old handy dandy metal coat. Now let's get into our bigger breeds that have the longer coat, the double coat, but they don't get like a haircut. You want to get all that undercoat out, but you don't want to harm them. What do you use? I usually like to start with just a regular slicker brush. A slicker brush is something like this that has all of these nice pins here so it can get through all layers of the coat. It just helps give them a good brush out. If you find any tangles, this will help find it. It probably won't detangle it, but it'll help you find if there are any. Or even like, so again, we're talking about Australian Shepherds, German Shepherds, Golden Retrievers, all these bigger dogs that have like this longer coat, but they don't typically get cut. So you wanna make sure you're getting all that undercoat out and brushing them frequently so it doesn't get tangled and matted so you don't have to cut their hair because preferably you don't want to. This is an undercoat rake. It just goes in all the way to that double coat there so you can make sure you get all the undercoat out. I don't use this too often. I like to use it usually before their bath just to kind of help get some extra coat out. Um, but this will help get out any coat that's loose in there and it's just kind of stuck and it won't come out. The undercoat rake. I have this really cool slicker brush by Kenchi. So it's a little pricier, but it works so well. It works really well on the um, double coated breeds. It just really gets into that undercoat and brushes them out well. Um, it'll get any of that undercoat that's stuck in there. It's not too harmful either, so it really can brush them for a good while with this. This works really well on, again, the Golden Retrievers, the Australian Shepherds, German Shepherds, all of these dogs that have a longer coat that's double coated that you don't typically cut. 
And again, you can use the Furminator with those breeds too. It, again, it's not something you want to rely on though because it can be damaging. So just use it when needed. Okay, now let's talk about our longer breeds like Poodles and the Golden Doodles and the Bichons that have that longer coat that needs to be brushed frequently if you want to keep them long. So first and foremost, I always recommend just a regular slicker brush. Um, someone actually in the comments on one of my TikTok videos recommended the Artero Universal Slicker Brush and I got it off Amazon and I love it. It works so well. It works really, really well. It has these really long pins here so it reaches all the way down to as far as the coat is you need. It brushes them out super well. Again, this is the Artero Universal Slicker Brush. It works really, really well. Totally recommend it. This is the Kenshi Pin Brush. Um, it works pretty well. It just doesn't really detangle anything as this slicker brush might, it will like really fluff them up and kind of detangle any small tangles you might find. This one won't. It's just kind of too soft, um, but it works pretty well. Again, the most important thing for these Bernadoodles, Aussie Doodles, Golden Doodles, Labradoodles, Poodles, Bichons, Yorkshire Terriers, Metal Comb. It will be your best friend. It will find any tangle, like this is what you're going to want to use on your pets if you want to keep them longer. Um, if you don't, if you aren't brushing your dogs regularly, a lot of the times, you know, they'll get matted. What are mats? Mats are really severe tangles, and the most common areas are usually like behind their ears. Sometimes we call those love mats because we scratch them behind their ears so much, the hair just kind of bunches up there, and those can't be brushed out. You have to shave those out. The ears are have a very thin area of skin, so if you try to cut them out, you might actually cut your dog. So if your dog has these big tangles behind the ears, um, call a grooming salon, maybe a veterinarian, ask them if they can shave that amount or if you want to brave it and shave it out, that's what you need to do. Um, again, other areas can be like around their neck or their chest area where they're wearing a harness or their collars. Those areas aren't being brushed as frequently because they always have those on. So it's very important to brush them out after their walks, you know, um, going with the slicker brush first and then going with the comb so you can make sure to find any of those tangles. If they do kind of have some tangling, this might get it out, um, but you can also try um, a dematting brush. Again, you just wanna kind of be careful. These are essentially like little blades, so it can harm your dog, so be very careful, but these will help kind of break apart some of the mats that your pet might have, just depending on how severe it is. And again, mats are just really big tangles. They can be harmful in the long run. You really don't want them to get too out of control or what can happen is get these. This was completely stuck on a pet's ear. Is it the ear? No, but this is all the hair that was surrounding it. Um, and if mats get severe enough, they can cut off the blood. I mean, you could lose a a tail if their tails are totally matted if it's really bad the hair itself can actually like puncture your pet and cause a wound so don't take mats lightly okay they can they can be harmful but again you can use like the dematting tool to kind of break apart those mats but you're not going to want to use this on areas of the body where there's really thin skin so you'll never want to use these on ears you won't want to use this like in their armpits armpits area is another area that always needs to be shaved out because it's just really thin skin you don't want to risk cutting them sometimes you don't have to worry about completely detangling the dog you can just take your dog down to a shorter length whatever length will get through the mats it'll always grow back depending on the pet depending on the pet. Number one thing I'm always gonna recommend is a metal comb. Please get a metal comb. The Greyhound Pro, it's a pretty color. The teeth are really close together, super fancy. Now you can also use like, this is technically a flea comb. So this is something you'll use to, if your dog has fleas, you can use this to comb through their coat to get all the fleas out. But sometimes we like to use this um, when we're bathing the dogs and we'll lather their face up with a facial friendly shampoo. And if your dog gets like a lot of like build up around the eyes here, sometimes once we have lathered it up with shampoo, we've massaged it in a little bit, we'll use the flea comb to kind of comb it out if it's really stuck on there. You don't have to do it. It's just something that we sometimes do. And then I also got recommended these brushes. Um, so I have this Belgian Malinois that I groomed ever since she was, I don't know, 
three, four months old. She's so big now, oh my God. Um, and I ran into one of the breeders there and I asked what brushes to use and he told me about these Chris Christensen brushes. They're a little on the pricier side, but they work great too. These are almost like finishing brushes. So they'll leave a really nice finish on your on the dog's coat. So this is the, like the pin brush. Now it's not really gonna get a lot of coat out, but it just, again, it leaves, it gets all that excess hair that might be left on the body. This one too, I rarely use these, but these are like finishing brushes. So once I'm done with the groom, once I'm done fully brushing out the dog, I'll go over them with this just to kind of leave a nice finish on the dog. Quick little recap, short coated dogs, rubber brushes, and the Firminator for that undercoat, if needed, if needed. Longer hair dogs like Australian Shepherds, Golden Retrievers, slicker brush, undercoat rake, the Kenshi slicker brush, just a comb, sometimes the Firminator, but meh. And then the longer hair dogs, poodles, golden doodles, brush, and the comb, 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 comb. And sometimes you can use a detangler, but use cautiously. Okay, I will try to link some things down below. I hope this helps you pick out what brushes you might wanna use for your pet. If you have any other ideas that you wanna see, comment them down below, subscribe, like, and yeah. What are you doing? Did you want some? Hey guys, so I had this really awesome um, company reach out to me and they are called Decillion Paws. And what they do is that they make custom portraits of your pets. <laughs> and they get to do like celebrities or they do like colonial themes. It's really, really cute and really easy to set up. Um, and I just got my sample. The pictures came out so cute, so I'm really excited to see it in person. So I thought I would share this experience with you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> This is cute as hell. Shout out to Decillion Paws. This is like, this is so good. I, I love it. Oh my God. I will, I'll put their link in the bio. Highly recommend. This is, this is so freaking cute. I, I need more. Oh my God. Oh my God. Look at my little girl. She's a queen. Oh. Dixie, do you love it? Do you love it? That's you! That's, that's you! She's impressed, she's, she's speechless, honestly. I'm, I, I, I'm speechless. This is so good. I love it. I, I think it's great. <laughs> Anyways, um, if you guys wanna order one, again, they have so many different Get off my homegirl right now. This is by Decillion Paws. I'm gonna link them down below. I have a discount code, it's CAT10. You can use it at checkout to save 10%. And all the earnings that I make with my discount code are going to be going towards the Black Lives Matter movement. So please use my code. I'd really like to donate whatever I can to this cause. It's really, really important. And it's time for change, enough is enough. And I, I really implore you to get as involved as you can. If you can't make donations, sign petitions, educate yourself, you know, spread other um, petitions that could be signed or um, fundraisers that need donations to on your social media. Just wanted you guys to know that's where all my earnings are gonna be going towards um, for whoever wants to use my discount code at checkout. <laughs>
Oh my God, I can't wait to freaking hang this up. <laughs>